Hey, Joe Zarzer here with another segment on our ins auto insurance 101 uh, topic. We're going to talk in this video uh, about PIP. That's the short mnemonic device for personal injury protection coverage. It's also referred to as no fault coverage. Why is it called no fault coverage? It's called no fault coverage because you get it no matter who's at fault for the wreck. If you're involved in a car wreck in the state of Florida and you have your legal policy, in other words, you have car insurance, you have $10,000 in PIP. How does that work? It works like a health insurance policy. Wherever you go get treatment that's car wreck related, even if you cause the wreck, it comes out of your car insurance. Your health insurance will not pay you can have the best health insurance in the world. Your health insurance will not pay your medical bills in Florida after a car wreck until they have proof that your PIP, your personal injury protection, has been depleted and exhausted. They love it. Health insurance companies love this because they're like, oh great, there's 10 grand that we don't have to be responsible for after a car wreck. 10 grand. So health insurance denies the claims until they get proof that this is gone. For people that don't have health insurance, this is great too because, in a way, because you have 10 grand now of health insurance that you otherwise wouldn't have had to treat your car wreck injury that you, what, you were not uh, anticipating, right? Uh, so the trade-off again and the downside is that there's no requirement for the other driver, for the at-fault driver to have any bodily injury coverage. That's what we talked about in these other videos. That's the downside of PIP, okay? But we're a PIP state, and there's 13 other states in this country that are PIP states. We're one that where you're required to get PIP. Basically, you have to, you're required to get your own health insurance for car wreck injuries, and, but you don't have to get any coverage for the other person that you cause injuries to. I don't really like it. I don't think most people like it, but it's, uh, it seems backwards in a way. But, um, but this is how it works, and this is the law in Florida right now. So PIP coverage, most of the time, it has no deductible, okay? Um, in this particular policy, it's got zero deductible. See that? So you don't have to pay anything to use the 10 grand. Some policies, the people that are being chintzy, right, they want a policy, they're trying to get their premium as low as possible, they get the bare minimum coverages, they get PIP, they get property damage liability, and then they say to the uh, insurance agent, listen, I want to drive that premium down even further, why don't you go ahead and sign me up for a premium on my PIP? Well, guess what that means? You have to pay out of pocket to go to the ER, and if you don't have health insurance, that's gonna be a pretty big fee because usually it's a thousand buck premium. Or when you go to the ER, you're gonna owe $1,000, despite the fact that you could have paid maybe uh, six bucks more and gotten the full version without the deductible. So that's the deductible part of PIP that, that you need to be aware of. You wanna buy a non-deductible PIP, okay? Make sure of that. So here's where we are with the, with, with the PIP. PIP also is $10,000, and you think to yourself, well, 10 grand, that's, that's going to go a long way. Well, if you go to the ER by ambulance, you spend $4,000, okay? Just keep that in mind. <laughs> so now you have $6,000. And then if you have an MRI, which most people do, because we've talked about that, that in other videos, there's another two and a half, three thousand dollars $3,000 when you count the office visits for the MRI. So um, now you're down to three or $4,000, okay? So it, doesn't, it gets you diagnosed, I tell people. It's going to get you diagnosed. It's not, probably not going to get you treated. And we're going to have to come up with a plan for you to get treated, or we're going to have to go get money from the other side. And that's generally what we do, right? So PIP gets you started, gets you diagnosed. There's some caveats that have been passed by the legislature in Florida about this $10,000 benefit. When they first passed it, they said, 10 grand, you can go wherever you want. Chiropractor, doctor, who cares? Well, guess what happened? People took advantage of this, and there were some doctors and some chiropractors in the state of Florida that were just billing this $10,000 like it was going out of style in every car wreck case, no matter how minor it was. 
And so the legislature had to pass a new law that said, okay, wait a minute, you don't get the whole $10,000 after a car wreck, you only get $2,500 unless you have a medical doctor that says you have a, an emergent medical condition. And we've done videos on emergent medical condition, but uh, basically that $10,000 benefit is not automatic at that, in that amount. You have to have an MD that signs off on an emergent, saying that you have a serious condition basically from the wreck before you get all 10 grand. Generally, that's not too hard to get accomplished, okay? But there is an extra barrier now to access all 10 grand of the PIP benefits. So that's how PIP works. It's also called no-fault coverage. It's your benefit on your policy. It will come from your company. It will. The way it works is they give you a claim number. It's like a credit card number, basically. And every time you go to the doctor, they bill that claim number with your car insurance. They don't ask for co-pays generally, and it pays 80% of the medical bill, the charge, which by the way is like three or four times higher than what the health insurance re uh, reimburses these providers. So all the providers that, that treat and bill PIP get paid three or four times as much than health insurance. So anyway, that's how PIP works and you treat and you use it until it's gone and then you either come out of pocket for your medical expenses or you do what's called a letter of protection and you pay the uh, provider at the end of your case or you pay in cash for your treatment after the 10 grand is gone and we try to get you reimbursed from the other driver. But if you have questions about PIP or an injury after a car wreck, you can find us on the web at zarzerlaw.com or you can call us at 855-HIRE-JOE. Thank you.